Hello everybody, my name is uh, Mauro Scandiuzzo. I'm working for ST Microelectronics. I'm a field application about the sensor motion and environmental sensors. What I'm gonna present to you is uh, Unicleo, a graphical user interface. Very useful to investigate better the functionality of our sensors. To work with our STM32, let's start to investigate which kind of hardware we need. So we need a Nucleo board, so it's an STM32 EVO board. In particular, I use a Cortex-M4. The name of the board is F401. I use an expansion board based on the ST uh, MEM sensor. In particular, I use the IKS01A2. We embedded the latest sensor in ST portfolio. On top of that, I apply a different expansion board in this 24-pin dwelling line. This adapter board mount the latest accelerometer ultra low power of ST Microelectronics. The name of this device is LIS2DW12. This is the hardware that we require for the investigation of Unicleo graphical user interface. In terms of software, we need to download two parts in st.com website. One is for sure the software Unico interface. So it's just a, a matter to type Uniqlo in uh, the st.com, download the file and install it in your PC. The other step, you need the firmware to upload in the uh, STM32 Nucleo board. So the firmware that you need is X cube MEMS XT1. That is the firmware that you need to download from st.com. Let's go to the main tab. The main tab is IKS01A2 option. One important thing is selecting the full scale. Let's start, for example, for the accelerometer. The accelerometer option, I can go from 2G full scale up to 16G full scale. For the gyroscope, the angular speed, I can select from 245 degrees per second up to 2000 degrees per second. The same also for other Samsung's. The other aspect is the auto data rate, and I can select the different auto data rate so uh, now, for example, another part is the motion MEMS plot. So now we see that the up to data rate is one hertz. We want to speed up that. So for example, we start uh, go up 200 hertz. So with 200 hertz, now we see that the motion is faster. So the, the up to data rate is faster. And here we can see, for example, the accelerometer, the three-axis accelerometer. If we move the board up and I flip like 90 degrees, so we see the gravity move from z-axis to x-axis. I can catch also the movement of uh, the gyroscope. And here on the bottom part, I have the magnetometer. So if I put close my uh, phone, I see the variation of the magnetic field. With environmental sensor, I can see the same. So I can see the temperature, the humidity, and the pressure. If I touch the device, I will see the variation in terms of temperature and humidity. If I want to data log in the, uh, the different sensor, I can just with a fast uh, interaction using the user messages, I can see the timestamp, the pressure, temperature, humidity, accelerometer X, Y, Z, and the gyroscope and magnetometer axis. But if I want really downloading and data logging the, 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 the device, I can use the data logging settings. And I can select which kind of device I want to uh, downloading. If I want data logging just the accelerometer, then it's an easy way. So I can select the revision three. I can start the logging. I can stop the logging. I can open the file directly with Excel and I can plot the different values. This is all for today. Thank you very much to attending and watching the video.